good morning at a donation alberga always try and leave it cleaner than when you arrived so i had some mud on my shoes trapped in some dirt and i'm sweeping up la 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 this is out the window of the alberga it's cold out there i can see the frost on the grass so i'm gonna have a leisurely breakfast i had some orange i made a little cheese sandwich and my coffee i also had pineapple juice but i drank that as soon as I woke up. At breakfast, I was reading this Root of the Dolmens uh, brochure. And this area has the largest concentration of Neolithic, sorry, megalithic art in Galicia. And the brochure says, let the archeological adventure begin. If I had a car, I would. But the only one that's kind of accessible on foot from here is the one I visited yesterday. Ten twenty leaving the albergue and I was lucky enough to run into Paquita before I left. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> now that it's daylight, I can get a better look at this church. Even the town. The GPS told me to come down here, but I don't think I can get through this. All right, fenced out. Guess I'll have to walk around on my way. Very cold and frosty boxes for the bees. Pretty. I just checked the GPS and I'm going the wrong way. I thought I could bushwhack through, but it is just way too dense. I'm just gonna turn around and go back. Okay, so don't go up there. That is totally wrong. And then I thought there was a stream down here, but this is actually the way. So I'm gonna have to jump down. Tunnel. I don't know what this flat thing is. Maybe it was a old railroad. Don't know. How nice is this look, eh? Beautiful. Uh, yeah, that section may look nice, but it was not nice for my feet. It was very boggy. Squish, splash, squish, splash. Well, I'm gonna have to go for the full soaker foot because there's no dry way across this bad boy. Mystical fairy world. Look at this. Wow. Oh crap. Oh, there's a bridge. Okay. I thought it's crap. <laughs> the river. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was getting worried for a second. Wow, what a... See, you can see why I got confused that this is a bridge. It, does, it barely looks man-made. It looks very organic here. It's very uneven stones. The moss is also a little bit slippery on here. So take your time and also enjoy the water. It's, uh, I can see like mist rising off of the water. It's kind of kind of spooky scary. And it also is very pretty over here. What an amazing, amazing spot. I just can't believe this gorgeous bridge. In case you're wondering, this is not trail magic. Someone just hung their garbage there. Disappointing. No trail magic beer. Here we go. Ah. Hi. Guess who is a kilometer off track? I came up to this power line crossing, pa -pa -pa power lines, and I was like, ah, I'll just check the GPS. And it's like, darn, what did you do? Uh, so I'm going to have to walk a kilometer now back to the trail. I would uh, cut it off with a bushwhack, but it's so boggy here and there's so many streams and things. I don't want to be caught up in that. I'm back. <laughs> had the beer sign. I think the beer distracted me. 
because for some reason I thought that arrow was kind of pointing up this road here when in fact because this isn't even like look like anything this is the way I go into this shrubbery step so you can see how it's easy to make the mistake between that and that this is kind of overgrown trail of the wet wish there was some cute horses wowie wowie look at this big beautiful view I inhaled deeply because I thought, oh, maybe I can smell the ocean. In fact, all I smell is cow poop. So the answer is no, I cannot smell the ocean. It is tricky. This is obviously fallen down. The trail goes up and around where the highway is. On a small dirt road. And look at this fence. They put broken bottles all along the top. Ouch! Who's this? What are you doing? Don't hurt me. I'm just gonna let you continuing having fun. I had to stop and just like in the middle of nowhere because I was so hungry and I have this new chocolate bar to try out. Mini Oreo cookies um, attached by chocolate. A little bit rough. Hi, cow. Hi. I'm crossing through Perembo Pombo. <laughs> it's a crazy name. Um, I was talking with this um, villager lady, and she was like shocked to see me walking. And oh, I wish I spoke better Spanish or I spoke um, the Galician uh, language. <laughs> I don't speak that either, obviously. But I think she is trying to say that where I came from, the trail was very bad. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is very bad. But this is what you do when you're on an adventure. And another turn with zero indication that this is the way you go. Just pass by Castello, but I didn't go up there. The first blue arrow I've seen in a while. Farmers be like, where'd she come from? <laughs> Doric Wayside Cross. Seems like it's at an odd place. Just down in the middle of nowhere. Guys are kind of right in my way. I need to get over there. There's the town I'm heading to. Camino takes me away from the highway, a little bit of a detour, but it's much nicer on the dirt road. Well, 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 this is the place where the traditional route to Muxia from Santiago meets up. I know you. Even though I don't have a lot of time, I can have one quick beer. Just one quick one. I'm in. I had to come in the bar because this Via Mariana credential was looking pretty bare. Needed more stamps and also why not get a beer. This is a shout out to Barbara. Barbara, thank you for this Estrella Galicia. Cheers, Barbara, and I hope you and your family is doing well. Now I shall be a traditional Pellegrino girl on the traditional Muxia way until the Via Mariana splits off again. I almost passed this the horse neighed at me. I don't have an apple for you. It's a little pet. There you go. Okay. I'd come in the barn and pet you too, but the farmer is around and I think that would be trespassing. Bye, the, regu the regular route people must be like, what's this blue arrow mean? There's these stone markers everywhere. Huh. Don't need to worry about navigation for the next little bit. Nice scenery. <laughs> this tractor's just like, like, I'm tired. I'm just parking here. <laughs> that is definitely not regulation via Mariana signage. Discotech 
Here's the marker. So there's some kind of disco on December 2nd. Well, December 2nd has passed, and whoever did that graffiti did not have much thought in their nice flow beside the trail. <laughs> and another wayside cross. I was so mad about that sign. I didn't even notice the church over there. Oops. Went down into the valley. Now I'm climbing back up. De Sobre Monte. All right, here is where the traditional Camino goes to off to the right and the Via Mariana. Sorry, the sun's annoying, but there's the sign. Continues upwards. That dog just broke through his chain. It was barking at me a lot. <laughs> he was so fired up barking at me. He broke his chain. And then once free. He didn't care about me anymore. He's like, freedom! I don't have to work anymore and bark at you. A local just stopped their car and was like, no, pointing I was going the wrong way. And I'm like, si, sí, via Mariana, directo. <laughs> That's nice of them to be concerned. Here I make the turn onto the dirt road. Adventure. Which way do you guys think? Well, I checked and I'm off trail. So both ways are wrong. I have to go back. <laughs> huh. This thing says it's going the wrong way. Am I supposed to go in here? Ay ay ay. I guess this isn't so bad. Ah, it's correct. Good, 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 good. Um here? 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 I need my GPS. Let's just go with the middle. Because <laughs> if it's a mistake, then I can cross country to the other trail. There's a whole bunch of chopped up wood. I bet you the trail marker got chopped up. I don't know what's going on. I'm just walking straight down to the road. Oh crap, I'm up really high. Oh, do I want to try and shimmy down? No, it's all full of thorns, it's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna try and cut through and find a better way down to the road. The trail's over here. I can just hop over this little fence here. I'm on this road for 500 meters. Nice view. Oh look, a beach. In the ocean, big time ocean. This is where I make the turn. Even though there's zero sign for the Via Mariana. Pretty cool. Look, I'm back on the traditional Camino. I guess the uh, Via Mariana was a faster alternative over the traditional way because I see a pilgrim that I saw earlier in the bar. He was leaving as I was just ordering. So I beat him here. A pretty town. For sale, someone open up your face. Okay, more, more. I'm angry that those signs are defaced now. I'm doing a climb up. More up. Monasterio de Morin. That's, this is a better view than Monastery. Actually, no. This a little is rest area. Table with no chairs. Here's the next split. Official Camino goes to the right. Via Mariana straight ahead. Even though there's no sign. Pass through. Yeah, it's very relaxing countryside walk. I don't know what the other way is like, but I really like this way. Nice and quiet. Hi. Uh oh. All the dogs are coming. And this dog's afraid. If 
funny that the littlest dogs make the most noise. Hi, puppy. Hi. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Jeez, I hear seagulls in the background. I haven't heard that noise in a long, long time. I haven't been near the ocean. Oof, I can't even remember the last time. Well, looky here. I've joined with the traditional Camino. The yellow arrow. And the beach. Coast of death. Maxia. 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 I have caught up again. My friend from the bar. I wonder if he's going to say my albergue is me. Yeah. You know, I stayed here in 2014. Quickly. Hola. <laughs> I'm getting all three stamps because why not? Data. This is me, fine side up. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. the church. This is the place where Mary came in the stone boat. Friend from before came running up full speed trying to get here before the sunset. I was lucky to get here right in the nick of time. Despite going the wrong way several times on the Via Mariana today, made it here and checked into the albergue before the sunset was finished. Here it is, the terminus of the Via Mariana. to the church when there's no service on but um, you can see a little bit through this metal room. The church and if you go to the side a lighthouse Lincoln. and then all these jumbled up rocks Woo. incredible Okay, it's going to be dark soon, and the wind is picking up, so time to move on back to the village. Fresh and leave. Well, they were crashing. This is the Alberta kitchen, and here is a souk that is for free for everybody. Here's the soup. So I made myself a bowl. So here I am with my bowl of soup. Let me try it. It's a vegetable soup. Mm. And it's very tasty. A little bit of curry flavor inside. So for my dinner, I have a veggie soup, um, hamon sandwich, and a beer from the vending machine. This beer is a shout out to Dan. Dan and Kitchener. Cheers, Dan. Thanks for the beer. Hello, my name is Rose and I am from Hungary. And what are you doing here in Muxia? I live in Muxia now. I have a here. And why are you connected to the Via Mariana? Why? Mm, I am the first pilgrim on the Via Mariana and I love this way. I am a lover. One year before I read the news, uh, the association make the new way and I want to try. Ah, so you, you volunteered, you said, I will be the first. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the next year I go back from Mushia to Braga. So the opposite direction. Yes. Like a yes. yo yo. I want to be the first. The first person to yes. walk it the opposite way. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.